1919 Browning machine, 30 caliber, uh, designed by uh, John Browning, one of the greatest machine guns of all time. Uh, it was used extensively by the United States all through World War II, Korea, and even into Vietnam. People travel from all over the country to show off their pride and joy weapons, some of them new, some of them old. You're not going to find a whole lot of these that are still functioning today. It's old school guns like these you can find at the machine gun and cannon shoot this weekend. This right here is called a Bulldog. It was first designed in 1877. It's what you would call a crew served weapon because it took up to three guys just to load it and eventually fire. The Bulldog weapon is the oldest designed gun at the cannon shoot, but it's not the only one packing some history. From World War I to II, to Korea to Vietnam, you can find a variety of firearms, and even over the years, there are still a few similarities. It's a factory gun, uh, very reliable, uh, they're, they're uh, sound as could be, they have one big drawback, which they're heavy as heck. It's accurate and it's compact. Comparatively, even though it weighs 270 pounds, it's a very compact gun. So along with shooting the newest and most high-tech firearms, these historic weapons that have their own stories give you the chance to shoot back in time. A lot of what I hear is, gosh, I've never seen anything like that before. Or, uh, gee, my grandfather, my great-grandfather fought in World War II, and he probably, I have a picture of him with one of these. I do like World War II history, too. Uh, my dad was in Korea. He was in the artillery in Korea, and, so, and this gun was used all over then. Um, and he, he, he gets a kick out of me too so they uh they, yeah they're they're quite quite fun guns from the machine gun and cannon shoot liz cooper k2 news